If you are a subscriber of this channel, you would know how disappointed I have been with some of the newer budget Nagband earphone releases and at a price point of around 2000 rupees, I have not been able to find something that I can give a very solid recommendation to this year. But today we have the Sony WI-C100 which is just offering some features and sound quality that I have not seen in this segment before and I am actually quite excited that we have a product like this available so let's check it out. Inside the environmentally friendly box, you will find the usual stuff like some papers, some extra ear tips and the earphone itself. Now the design of the C100 is quite basic, it just has a thicker cable as its snag band so you don't feel like you are wearing a collar which can be more comfortable especially as these weigh just 19 grams but we do have these two plastic parts which are kind of big in size to accommodate its big battery which can deliver up to 25 hours of playback. I really like the design of the earbuds here because they are very small and they go into your ear completely so you can keep using them by resting your head on a pillow and their wedge shaped design also keeps them very comfortable in your ears. They also offer a very good noise isolation even after being so small. The three buttons we have here can be used for playing and pausing, controlling volume, changing tracks, attending calls and launching your smart assistant. They support fast pairing and swift pairing with Bluetooth 5.0 so they will connect quickly to your Android and Windows devices. And we also have support for AAC codec for a higher quality playback but we don't have any special low latency mode on this so there is going to be some delay in the audio while you are playing games. Other Sony features like DSEE are here which upscales your audio to a higher resolution and the IPX4 water resistance rating is also going to keep these safe from splashes of water. And now we are testing out what the microphone on the Sony WI-C100 sounds like and it sounds pretty good as you can hear so you can easily use it for calls. I also have some really exciting audio related content coming up so you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. Finally coming to their sound quality, even though I was expecting this to be a good product, I am kind of blown away by how good they sound. They do look kind of basic but the sound quality on these is really very good. The issue that I have with most of the budget neck bands is that they have a very V-shaped sound signature which makes the bass muddy and overpowering and it makes the treble sibilant and I really don't like that. We did have one balanced sounding product but that is not available anymore. But what Sony does with this earphone and their other wireless products is that they give you an option of choosing your own sound signature according to what you like. So even though these also have a V-shaped sound signature out of the box with boosted bass and treble, you can use the Sony app's equalizer to tune their sound according to your liking and this is a hardware level EQ which means that you don't need to have the app running to use this but you can just set it once and it will keep these settings even when you use it on other devices. Having a hardware based EQ on a device priced around 2000 rupees is really something that I wasn't expecting. So I just reduced their treble with these settings which you can also use and after this I get a really great sound out of these. They do have their bass boosted but I don't reduce that because it is emphasized in a very nice way which doesn't make it overpowering and it actually sounds quite enjoyable. They really have a very engaging sound because the scale of the sound feels much bigger than what you will expect looking at their small size and they have a really great sound stage with very good width, separation and imaging which I have not seen in this price range before. The bass hits on these feel quite impactful and the treble also has that sparkly quality to it. And these are also quite resolving for their price so you get plenty of detail in your music. The mids on these are also good so vocals on them also sound nice but the bass and treble definitely made me pay the most attention to them. The now discontinued Oppo Enco M31 was my recommendation for audiophiles because it sounded the best among its competition but the WI C100 is overall a better product. The sound quality is actually quite close between these but the sound stage and instrument separation on the WI C100 is better so it offers a more engaging sound. You can also customize the sound on the WI C100 to your preferences which has not been possible on other neck bands that I have tested. If you use the equalizer then you are reducing the levels of higher frequencies so you may find yourself keeping the volume on 90% or more while listening but I never felt like I needed to go louder than they go and listening at high volumes can easily damage your ears with tinnitus. So overall, the Sony WI C100 is a really amazing purchase. The official MRP is 2790 rupees, but this is going to be available today at an introductory price of just 1699 rupees, which is just 22 US dollars. And for this price, you are getting a very comfortable and a really great sounding neckband earphone that offers 25 hours of battery, IPX4 water resistance, and customizable sound profiles. 
so i will have links to buy this in the video description but i also have two extra units of these earphones with me and i will be giving away two of these away and to enter in this giveaway you just have to leave a comment on this video and be subscribed to the channel and that will be it for this video feel free to share any thoughts that you may have in the comments give the video a thumbs up if you liked it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one